In the age-old story of David versus Goliath, it is the underdog David who uses a slingshot to slay the mighty giant. In the unpredictable baseball world of 2021, it is the Giants wielding their bats rather than slingshots who are looking to smote the twin beasts of Velo and Spin Rate. Every year there's a surprise team in baseball, and this year it's the boys from San Francisco who have upended the apple cart of expectations. It was supposed to be the Dodgers and Padres in the wild, wild west, but the Giants didn't get the memo. And maybe they'll have a moment like this in the postseason. Yes, I'm aware of the sign stealing controversy. The Giants are poised to not just make the playoffs, but snatch a division title away from the defending World Series champions. So how'd they do it? I'm glad you asked. The season has been as long a winding road as that San Francisco landmark Lombard Street. Let's begin with these stalwart veterans. Chris Bryant has obviously given this team another offensive dimension, but it all starts with Buster Posey. Three-time World Series champion, he took last year off due to COVID concerns and now has returned with gusto, eager to reclaim his title as the best backstop in the senior circuit. With some predicting that Posey was on the back nine of his career, the catcher has gotten back in the swing of things. His 506 slugging percentage is his best since his MVP winning season of 2012. Third among catchers with an 895 OPS and his 140 OPS plus is the highest for a catcher 34 years or older since hip hip Jorge Posada in 2007. He's the best buster since Tony Hale's Buster Bluth on Arrested Development, but this Posey has shown no signs of stunted growth. Then there's Brandon Crawford, another 30-something veteran turning back the clock. With a shaggy mane reminiscent of Samson, Crawford has a 4.7 war, which is sixth among position players in the NL. He's among the dirty dozen in the NL in average, OBP, and slugging. His 20 homers are one shy of his career high, and he's still getting it done defensively, tied for ninth in the majors with 12 outs above average. Now, how about the pitching staff? The Giants thought when they signed Jeff Samarja and Johnny Cueto that they would be the strength of their rotation for years to come. But it's been the stealth signings that have bitten opponents like a shark. Take Kevin Gosman. One year for $18.9 million. My favorite pitch in baseball is the splitter. From Bruce Suter to Roger Clemens, I'm a sucker for the aesthetics of that diving ball. Gosman's splitter isn't just the best splitter, it's one of the best pitches in baseball this year. 127 strikeouts on that pitch, which is the most strikeouts on any pitch in baseball this year. 208 total Ks, easily a career high, and Gosman has held opponents to three or fewer earned runs in 27 of his 30 starts. That is remarkable consistency. How about Logan Webb? Second highest ground ball rate in the majors. Webb induces minus one degree launch angle behind only Framber Valdez. They're the only two starting pitchers who actually get opponents to hit balls downwards on average. 91st percentile in the majors on chase rate with the slider being particularly nasty. And how about this run? An MLB season high 14 start stretch allowing two or fewer runs from May 11th to September 2nd. That's the longest such streak by a giant since your boy Ferdy Shoup in 1916-17. Which brings us to the reclamation project that is Anthony DiSclefani. Top 20 in the NL with a 3.24 ERA and a paltry 188 batting average on the sinker. Fourth lowest among MLB starters. Now you're thinking, okay, the starters are nice stories, but they aren't matching Scherzer, Bueller, and Kershaw. Well, the Giants bullpen is clearly superior to the Dodgers. First up, Jake McGee, 31 saves this season, almost matching his total from his first 11 seasons when he had 45 total. And he's more than just a lefty specialist. He holds lefties and righties to almost identical batting averages with both below the Mendoza line. The World Series winner with the Dodgers a season ago is complimented by a man whose rubber arm means he's led baseball with 71 appearances. Tyler Rogers has got better control than a boxer trying to make weight. Just 10 walks issued to 278 batters. 3.6% walk rate, which ranks fourth of 301 pitchers to throw 50 innings. Which brings us to Dominic Sergio Leone. Yes, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good, 1.80 ERA in 45 innings this season. The bad, 8.38 ERA for Cleveland last season. The ugly, opponents are a miserly 3 for 48, all singles against the slider. And we close with the group I call the grunts. Darren Ruff didn't play in the majors in 2017, 2018, and 2019. Period. Zero games. He's played in a career-high 111 games this year, belting 15 home runs in his age 34 season. Ruff's 395 OBP ranks seventh in the majors, and he boasts a whopping 1034 OPS against lefties. Next up, Lamont Wade Jr. Stellar mustache, even better slugging percentage. 
510 overall, which includes a clutch 870 mark in the ninth inning or later. His versatility is ridiculous. Wade has appeared at least 30 times in three different positions. Then there's Austin A.C. Slater. He's as strong and fast as Mario Lopez in his prime. Slater is one of four players with three home runs of 460 feet or further, 14 steals and 16 attempts, and 83rd percentile in sprint speed. Save some love for Steven Duggar. He ranks second on the team in base running runs and is plus four defensive runs saved in just 62 starts in center field. You know about the modern day Yaz and Brandon Belt, and that's why it shouldn't be a surprise this Giants team is going to hit the century mark and wins. So while everyone keeps crowing about the Dodgers going back to back and being the baseball version of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, you'd best be wary of this Giants team, the Inglorious Bastards.